Obesity is usually blamed on eating too much, not getting enough exercise, and current studies also showed that when we eat can make a difference in our weight gain. Now there's a study that just came out by Dr. Robert Lustig from the University of California, San Francisco, and he blames obesity on sugar. So what do you think of his study? Well, I think he's right. As we look at the amount of sugar that we've consumed over the years, 100 years ago, we consumed something like 15 grams a day. And now we're consuming at least five times that. It's more like 75 grams a day. And that amounts to about 60 pounds or 70 pounds of just high fructose corn syrup and another 60 or 70 pounds of table sugar. So that's it's about like a, a whole person. It's like 150 <laughs> pounds, that's right, of sugar a year. And that's doing a lot. Uh, to turn our the sugar that we eat into fat because that's what happens. Well, you know, fat has gotten a bad rap for a long, long time. But Definitely. according to Dr. Lustig, the sugar is worse than eating even bad fats. Well, it it turns uh, the fat that, or the sugar that you eat into fat. So when we consume a lot of sugar, what happens is we wind up with insulin resistance, which means that our insulin, which regulates our blood sugar levels, doesn't work as well as it might. It doesn't have the same power, so we make more insulin. And when insulin levels get high, they suppress a hormone called leptin, which is made in our fat tissues, which is supposed to suppress our appetite. So in other words, what happens is that the more high fructose corn syrup you eat, the hungrier you are. <laughs> he actually says no matter whether it's high fructose corn syrup or regular table sugar, because he doesn't differentiate between the two. He thinks sugar and high fructose corn syrup are the same, but not everybody agrees with that. Because when you look at high fructose corn syrup, you look at two simple sugars, at fructose and glucose, that aren't connected in any way. They're simple sugars. When you look, and, the, and there may be about 55% of the fructose, fructose and maybe 45% that's in the form of glucose. When you look at, the, at, at regular at glucose and fructose together in, in uh, table sugar, which is sucrose, they're bound together and they form what's called a disaccharide because it's one chemical. And that seems to be different. Now, whether or not that's the factor that makes a difference or not is not really clear, but we know that when we eat high, a lot of high fructose corn syrup, and studies have been done on rats where they did that, and they fed, they fed them either high fructose corn syrup or sugar in the same amount, with the same amount of calories, those rats that were fed the high fructose corn syrup got fat, and the ones on sugar were relatively not so fat. You know, I've been noticing that how our government talks about how obesity is a problem and we need to do things to, to cut back on it. And yet, we, when you look at the whole picture and look at processed foods, and there's so many things that high fructose corn syrup is added to that you wouldn't even know it. It's kind of like it just sneaked in, you know, especially, you know, even things like vegetables and ketchup and yeah, th the things that you wouldn't even think that, that had sugar in them. Uh -huh. I mean, of course, sh there's sugar in candies and things like that. But the government also subsidizes corn. Yes, it does. You know, and there's a lot of money to be made off of obesity. Well, it becomes a very economic issue and you're right so we have to pay attention uh, to what we're eating and unfortunately the high fructose corn syrup is cheap it tastes good and it's put into a lot of foods to bulk them up because the other foods that are, are being sold as the real thing cost more and they're they're manufactured in a way that they're made into this liquid that's absorbed very easily. Well, the two simple sugars are in a liquid. And of course, we should be giving our families advice here and say no liquid sugars of any kind. Uh, carbohydrates should only be eaten in the presence of fiber, like it in the form of fruit. Uh, we should be exercising regularly. We should wait 20 minutes until uh, we have a second portion of something. So uh, this whole business of, of high fructose corn syrup is one that really needs to be looked at carefully. Well, another reason, too, that I think that it increases our appetite is because of the leptin issue, mm -hmm. you know. So the more sweets you eat and the more sugar and high fructose corn syrup you eat, the more you want, the more you crave it, and it's mm -hmm. really like an addiction. Right. And the other thing is, is that it acts like alcohol in the liver. 
Yeah, it's amazing how it's metabolized. It causes a fatty liver to develop, which is the first stage of cirrhosis. So what we have here is really high fructose corn syrup and table sugar being alcohol without the buzz, is what Dr. Lustig likes to say, and I think it's kind of a cute way of saying it. So it's very, it's a dangerous thing, and, it, and one of the reasons we see so much in the way of fatty livers is either somebody has type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes, and, the, and they wind up with a fatty liver, or they're consuming a lot of the liquid drinks that we have. Well, you know, the other thing is is that cancer cells love sugar. Uh -huh. So it also can it may fuel increase the your risk in, of getting cancer. Well, that's what a lot of people think. There's not data that's solid on that yet, but it's something to, to think about because it's, it's something we need to pay attention to. So we need to pay attention in what we reward our children with. You know, not long ago we were in the grocery store, we were in a health food store, and there was this little girl in the cart, and she, while her mother was looking over the produce, this kid was eating a big leaf from a cabbage. Yeah, that was And the I took thing. a couple pictures of I it because I thought, this is so great. Here's a kid that's being rewarded by eating <laughs> cabbage instead of being given candy. That was a treat. And of course, our granddaughter, when she was young too, didn't know what, what candy was until she went to school. And, and, one time, her, and one time she ate some in the car, remember that? And she got so hyper, you'd think she was drunk. It was Talk amazing. about how it acts like alcohol. Well, that's interesting, <laughs> that's true. So when we look at this whole thing of sugar, the question is, is, is sugar a poison? And that depends really on how you look at things, because even water is a poison if you drink too much water. So it's a matter of the dosage. And with sugar, the dosage isn't that great, but we've increased our consumption of sugar enormously. So we need to go back, and if we're going to consume a fructose, it should be in the form of whole fruit. In, in that situation, we tend to maybe just eat one orange or one apple. You hardly eat, see somebody eating three well, or get, four you're apples. You're getting the or fiber oranges. with it. Well, yeah, but when you're drinking fruit juice, the fiber is not that good for you anymore because it's old. And you may drink the equivalent of four or five apples or four or five oranges. And some of the fruit drinks have sugar added, added to them. High fructose That's why you have to, look, to it. be careful to, to read the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't remember if we mentioned or not that um, high fructose corn syrup can increase our triglyceride levels. It absolutely does. And of course, that's the thing that leads to converting our sugar into fat. So in the presence of a lot of, of fructose particularly, our body tends to make insulin resistance develop, which means our insulin levels get higher. And those high insulin levels convert sugar into fat more easily, they lock the fat in the fat cell, and they lead to causing problems like diabetes, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular problems. So, is sugar a poison? In small amounts, it's fine, enjoy it. In large amounts, no, not the case. In high fructose corn syrup, that question's still out there and open, but in my opinion, I think it's worse than table sugar.